I've had a few people ask me the best way to complete one of the Hexa computer kits. So I thought I'd run through how I do them. Now here's the PCB. It may seem a little daunting at first, but it's not a race. You don't have to complete it in one sitting. It's it like a jigsaw puzzle. Now, obviously looking a bit big clive, isn't it? Now on the back of the PCB, you've got two different shapes of pads. You've got the round one, which is the positive, and you've got the square ones, which are the negative. Now, LEDs will only go in one way round. And with the LEDs, the long leg is the positive, and the short leg is the negative. So, when you place them in, the short leg will be on the square pad and the long leg will be on the round pad. Now if you have very good eyesight, on the other side you get the screen printing and there's a flat spot which matches up with a flat spot on the LED. I can't see that, far too small. So when you've got your board, this is the side that won't be seen and that is the side that will be seen. That's pretty ugly. So before you start, if you want to, spray it a few, uh, few coats of standard car paint and let it dry before you start. I place the LEDs in, in staggered rows. Give me a little bit of room between each of the LED rows, just so I can get in with the uh, soldering iron, because otherwise it's all a bit, a bit cramped. Once you've placed in your initial rows of LEDs, get something hard like the box it came in, put it on the top, and then flip it over. You're now ready to start soldering. So get a nice clean hot soldering iron, and only solder the square earth pads. There's no rush. And you don't have to worry about the LEDs moving because we'll sort that out later. And it doesn't take long just to tack them in place just on the earth points. And the reason we do that is because on this side, it looks hideous. None of them are in the correct position. They're not flat to the board. So what we need to do, put your finger on the back of one of the LEDs, give it a slight push and then heat up the solder pad. And that'll seat it, make it dead flat. Just carry on, next one. You'll notice now that they're all perfectly straight. So continue with all the other ones. It actually takes less time to get to this point than it does to put the LEDs into the PCB. I would recommend using tin and lead based solder instead of the lead free stuff because it's shit. The lead based solder melts at a slightly lower temperature, making it a lot easier to work with. It fl seems to flow a lot nicer as well. If you don't know which one you're on, if you wiggle it, you can see the other leg that isn't soldered moving around. I'll just give it a, hold it for a second. When you've taken the soldering iron off, just let the solder set. Seat the LEDs by reflowing each of the single pads. 
look down the rows, make sure they're all dead straight. And then you can start to solder the opposite pads. Once you've soldered all of the joints on all of the LEDs you've placed in, you need to get your little side cutters and just remove the excess parts of the legs. It's only taken about 10 minutes to get to this point after putting the LEDs in. That's the bit that takes the longest time. You know, always hold the legs when you snip them, otherwise they will jump up into your eyes. All right, you've completed the first row. Now you've just got to do it all again. Right, that's two thirds done. Just got to trim the legs of these ones before we start the, the final set. Uh, when soldering, do it in a uh, ventilated area. So if you breathe too much of this smoke, uh, the next day you will feel like you've got flu. You finally soldered in all, all 271 LEDs, 542 solder joints. Now you've just got two more. What we need. is a USB lead. Now inside here will be four connections, four wires. Don't use your teeth. Your teeth. Firstly, you'll have the shielding, and then inside the foil, you'll hopefully find all connections. The red and the black occupy power on Earth. Obviously, black is the Earth, red is the power, so you can lose everything else, just cut it away. And you just bear back the, the sheathing to show the copper. Don't use your teeth. Don't use teeth. And we need to just solder them onto the board. With that soldered on, I like to use a little bit of uh, hot glue just to hold it in place so it doesn't pull on the wires. And the best way to find out if you've missed any of the soldering points is to plug it in. Yeah, lovely. Now go and cry in the corner because you've just wasted three hours making it. <laughs> 